see the production and manufacturing of soft gel tin capsule. Up till now, what we have done is up till now we have seen the introductory part of soft gel tin capsule. Then we saw what is the nature of the capsule shell. Means how do you prepare that soft gel tin capsule shell? What are the ingredients, the formulation that is involved in preparation of that capsule shell? In which we saw that there was gelatin, water, preservatives, plasticizer. Sorry, gelatin, plasticizer, water, which are the main ingredient. And then you have other ingredients, also ingredients like you have preservatives, you have coloring agents, then you may have flavoring agents, you may have sweetening agent if you are preparing a chewable tablet. You may have medicating medications into it. Okay, if you are preparing chewable tablet, uh, chewable capsule, sorry, and uh, uh, and remaining ingredients are present, you know, uh, inside the uh, capsule shell. Okay, then we further went on to see what is the what is the uh, nature of the capsule content? In the nature of the capsule content, we saw that uh, liquids can be filled into it. Then uh, uh, we can fill into it. Oils can be filled into it, isn't it? And suspensions can be filled into it. And while filling the suspension, we also further saw that uh, you know you require to calculate uh, the amount of material that that goes inside it. For that, we, uh, we did base adsorption. We found out the base adsorption. And then we also found out the million per gram uh, calculations we have also done in order to decide how much amount of that material is going inside that capsule shell. Okay, for that we did that calculation. So now we know what is the cap nature of capsule shell. We know what is to be filled inside it. Now let us go to the next step. So the formulation part is done by us. Now let us go to the next part that is the production pass part. Okay, so we have done with uh, introduction, we have done with formulation. Formulation of both uh, the capsule shell also and the ingredients that are to be filled into the capsule shell that also we have been done with. Let us go to the next step that is production and manufacturing, production or manufacturing of soft gel tin capsule shell. Now, uh, when we are uh, uh, processing or uh, producing the soft gel tin capsules, there are number of steps that are involved into it near about 13 14 steps are involved into it the first step is you know preparation of the gelatin solution like we did in hard gelatin capsule shell if you remember there also we prepared the gelatin solution over here also what we are going to do is we are going to prepare the gelatin solution uh, so what are the steps involved in preparation of gelatin solution the steps that are involved in preparation of gelatin solution the first step is weighing of the gelatin after weighing of gelatin, what you are going to put inside it is you are going to put, you are going to mix that gelatin along with the liquid constituent. The main liquid constituent for which uh, uh, that you add is usually water. Okay. And then what you are going to do is you are going to melt this. You are going to melt this gelatin uh, in water at 93 degrees Celsius under vacuum for near about three hours. The next step that you are going to do is you are going to add color. And then after addition of color, you are going to co compare this color with the standard color. So whether proper gelatin solution, color solution is obtained or not, that you are going to check. And then the next, in the next step, you are going to maintain the temperature at near about 57 to 60 degree Celsius. This is the first step that is you are going to prepare gelatin, uh, gelatin solution. After preparation of gelatin solution, now what you are going to do is you are going to uh, add the remaining ingredient inside this gelatin solution so what are the remaining ingredients that you that you are going to add as i told you earlier you are going to add plasticizers you are going to add your uh, uh you say preservatives say flavoring agents sweetening agents maybe gelatin agents sometimes okay so the uh, uh, uh maybe opc frying agents so these are the different agents that you are going to add it after adding what you are going to do is you are going to mix them together you are going to homogenize the whole preparation and then carry out the deaeration. Water is going to be removed. And now the mixture is ready to form the capsule shell. Okay. So now the capsule shell mixture is ready for you. Okay. In the next step, what you are going to also do is you are going to prepare the material that you are going to encapsulate inside the capsule shell. So what are the what are the materials that you are going to encapsulate? It may be a it may be a directly a oil. So that you are going to prepare. Uh, if you want to add some other ingredients into it, then you can add into it. If, if it is a suspension, then you are going to prepare a suspension and keep it ready. Okay. So you have prepared the gelatin solution along with other ingredients ready. On the second hand, you have now prepared the 
material that is to be encapsulated inside this capsule shell also ready. So in the first two steps, you have done that. In the third step, what you are going to do now is this material, this suspension, this solution, this liquid or uh, uh, this oil, whatever you want to fill inside this capsule shell. Okay, this filling of the encapsulatable material inside the capsule shell. This is going to be the third and the most important step. Okay. This this is going uh, this is going to consume most of our lecture. This step that is the third step of filling the material inside the capsule shell is going to be the third step. Now this third step involves three different different processes. The fourth process is known as the plate process. Okay. These are my drawings. Kindly excuse me for a very rough kind of a drawing. Okay, just to just to make you understand. There were no images that were available, so I just thought that I should uh, draw some drawings so that it will make you easier to understand. Now, now what you do is uh, you prepare a gelatin sheet and this gelatin sheet in the first step that you're filling. Now you're carrying out the filling of the formulation inside the capsule shell. As I told you, this step of formation of a capsule, okay, and filling, these steps goes on simultaneously. If you have seen in hard gelatin capsule, what happens is hard gelatin capsules is manufactured somewhere else. So manufacturing is done. That is a separate step. Then you bring those capsules inside the factory and then you open the cap and body and then you fill it. This is what you do in the hard gelatin capsule. In the soft gelatin capsule, what you do is the formation of the capsule. Okay. And the filling of the material followed by sealing of the capsule, these three steps take place inside the factory only at the same moment of time, okay? So the first method is by the plate process in which what you do is you take a plate, which is having number of holes. So these are the number of holes that are, that are there inside the plate. So this is the plate. On this plate, what you keep is a gelatin sheet. This green color is the gelatin sheet. So you place the gelatin sheet onto this, what you call it, plate containing number of dies. Okay, so these are number of dies. And on this die plate, what you keep is the gelatin sheet. Then what you do is you apply the vacuum. So if you see over here, the vacuum is been applied. So as soon as the vacuum is been applied, what happens is this gelatin sheet, it goes inside, okay, inside this die cavity. So it goes inside the die cavity. And this is the structure that is getting obtained. So this is how the structure is go getting obtained inside it. So this is this is nothing but okay. Uh, this is what happens after the formation of a di uh, after application of a vacuum. So water forms the pockets are formed. So these are the pockets that are getting formed because of this dyes, right? The size of the uh, size of the pocket is going to be equivalent to the size of the dye. Then further, what you are going to do is you are going to now fill these pockets. Okay, you are going to fill these pockets with the capsulating material as i told you it may be liquid it may be suspension it may be oils you're going to fill it with that so this orange color is nothing but it is the uh, filled material so you fill it with it then what you're going to do is you're going to place another gelatin sheet so this is the another gelatin sheet that you're going to place onto it so this is the next gelatin sheet that you place onto it and after pressing the sheet what you do is you sandwich it, you apply the pressure. So because of application of pressure at this place, the gelatin sheet gets joined, right? So this is how the gelatin sheet get, is getting joined and a capsule, <coughs> your soft gelatin capsule is getting formed. After formation of the soft gelatin capsule, what you're going to do is you're going to cut these capsules, okay? The capsules have been cut, okay? And this sheet, okay? This sheet is getting this waste is now again put into is again heated and again the gelatin solution is getting formed. So this is the plate process, which is a batch process, right? Moving ahead, the most important that is rotary die press. Rotary die press is nothing but an automatic press. Before we move on to the procedure of rotary die press. Let me uh, show you different different parts of this rotary die press. Okay, it consists of two hoppers. 
right? This is the one hopper which is known as in which gelatin is being placed. The gelatin solution. So gelatin consisting of uh, the solution that you have prepared in step number one. That gelatin solution is placed in this gelatin tank. Okay. The product that is to be filled inside the soft gelatin capsule. That product is kept inside this second hopper. So this is the second hopper. Inside the second hopper, what you place is you place product. This is the nothing but product material tank in which you place your product, which is to be filled inside the capsule. Okay, got it. So you first prepare the gelatin solution. This gelatin solution is fed inside this gelatin tank. Through this gelatin tank, this solution, as it is, uh, if you if you remember that uh, the gelatin solution was kept at the temperature of near about. 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, as it was kept at 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. Hence, this is in the this is in the liquid state. This solution is in the liquid state. This gelatin solution is passed through this pipe into the spreader box. Okay, so this is your spreader box. So gelatin the solution is passed into the spreader box. What does the spreader box do? This spreader box spreads the gelatin on to this drum okay there are different different rulers that are present over here okay so what it does it it spreads onto this roller onto this drum which is known as cooling drum okay because what what it done is it cools right and it is it is a cooling drum which cools at uh, the temperature of which is near about 13 to 14 degree celsius so now what is going to happen this gelatin solution when it falls onto this drum and once it is rotating because of the cooling action and because of the rotating action of this drum this gelatin solution is now converted into ribbons okay this gelatin solution is now contain, uh, converted into ribbons you have this gelatin tank over here and you have gelatin tank over here also on the opposite side also so there are two gelatin tanks there are two rollers, okay, because of which you get two ribbons. So you get a ribbon from this side also. If you see over here, this is the ribbon which comes from this side, okay, and you have another ribbon which is coming from this side also. So there are two ribbons that are getting formed onto it, okay. Clear till here. So what we have done is that there were two hoppers. Uh, one hopper was containing gelatin solution. From the spreader box, we have passed uh, passed the gelatin solution onto this cooling drum, which is having the temperature of near about 13 to 14 degrees Celsius. Because of the rotation of the drum and because of the cooling action, a ribbon is getting formed. Usually, the thickness of the ribbon is near about 0 0.25 to 0 0.003 to 0 0.032 inches. Okay, that is usually the thickness. Okay, so the thickness of the ribbon is near about that much. Now further this, what, what happens is further this ribbons are passed through these rolls. These are the different, different rolls. You can say one, two, three rolls. So there are three rolls that are present. These rolls are known as oil rolls. Okay. Why they are known as oil rolls? Because they, they what they do is they uh, supply mineral oil. Okay. As they supply mineral oil to this, uh, you know, ribbon. Now this ribbon becomes non-sticky in nature. And they can glide, okay, easily glide, okay, uh, through this uh, roller, okay, onto the wedge, near the, below the wedge. So it glides because of, from this oil rollers, okay, to the wedge, okay. This is the injection wedge. Now, what is the injection wedge? Injection wedge injects the material from the production tank. Okay, so the material goes from production tank to the injection wedge, right? The injection wedge, the material, the amount of material that goes through the injection wedge, wedge is adjusted with the help of this pump. So there are, there are pumps that are present. These pumps adjust the amount of material that is going inside this capsule, okay? So inside the soft gelatin capsule, it go, uh, the material has been adjusted because of this uh, production pump or the pump that have been present. Okay. Let us move further. Okay. Now further, what happens is in the in the next step, 
the measured quantity of material from here the material is coming down right so uh, shall i go over there only i'll go to the previous slide only and then i'll go and then i'll read this afterwards okay now further what happens is now these rolls they pass through this roller and go below the wedge here two rollers are present okay so these are the two rollers that are present these rollers are known as die rollers okay these are the die rollers these die rollers consist of number of dies on plate so we have seen a die roller earlier also it was in the form of plate right it was in the form of plate and number of dies were present on to it here this is also a die roller but it is present uh, this is also a die but it is present in a circular form in a roll form right so this is the die roller that has been present two die rollers have been present so your ribbon passes on from this rolls oil rolls to the die roller this die roller what it does it once it, once the uh, once the uh, the what you call that the film the gelatin film it comes the ribbon comes onto the die roll vacuum is been applied so here you apply vacuum right as soon as the vacuum is been applied what happens is there is a cavity that is been formed over here as soon as the cavity is getting formed the material okay it gets filled pumped inside this cavity so you have a cavity that is getting formed over here you have a cavity that is getting formed over here right so in this way the cavity is getting formed at this place the cavity is getting formed and from here the material is injected okay through this injection wedge the right quantity of material is filled inside it so say one ml you have to fill so one ml is poured inside it further this roll again again this roll rotates further right and what happens is now the film is getting further joint in this way right in the next step it is getting joint in this way further whatever the capsules that are again been formed so you have a you have a strip and on this strip number of capsules are getting formed these soft gelatin capsules are further separated from this strip right so these are the separated capsules and through the conveyor they are passed for the further step below over here you get a net which consists of so you have a net of gelatin which consists of number of holes inside it okay why these holes are present because the capsules are removed from it okay and this net like uh, uh, gelatin sheet is further process again take for taken for this ribbon is again taken for your uh, melting and it is again passed through this gelatin tank and again spread it over here okay so this process is happening continuous all right so uh, i'll just read it out for you once uh, in this machine the soft gelatin capsules are prepared and then filled immediately so this is the two steps are taking place simultaneously so uh, soft gelatin capsule shell is also prepared and the machine is also filled and it is done with the help of two hoppers okay so these are the two hoppers and two rotating dies so these are the two rotating dies with the help of this it has been done gelatin mixture whatever you have done is placed in one of the hopper and liquid medicament is placed in the another hopper the spreader box what it does is it spreads gelatin onto this cooling drum okay and a continuous ribbon is getting formed the ribbon is now fed through this uh, uh, what you call that mineral oil lubricating bath rollers over and guided onto this uh, uh, die rollers uh, below the wedge so wedge is present over here right now at this stage what happens is so at this stage when when it passes and it comes over here, a measured quantity of medicament is filled inside this capsule okay the half form capsule let me put it as half form capsule with the stroke of the pump right so a required amount of material goes inside it then what you do is the next half of the capsule are sealed together and how they are sealed with the help of heat which is near about 37 to 40 degrees celsius that much heat is there because of which it gets filled okay so this is the next step so sealing now takes place and now further this die roller rotates and the matching die pockets seals and 
the it cuts the fill capsule. The, the cut the fill capsules are now further removed. Over here, you can see the capsules that are getting removed, and you can see the waste gelatin sheet over here. The net you can see over here, which is again taken for processing. This is the third step that happens. Okay, and uh, that is the filling step. In the next step, so in the first step, we have prepared the gelatin sheet. In the second step, we have uh, prepared the material that is to be filled inside the gelatin um, uh, capsule. In the third step, we have formed the capsule and we have filled the material inside it. In step four, what you, with the help of the two processes, right? In the step four, what we are doing to do is we we do the naphtha wash. We wash it with naphtha V. Okay, these capsules what have been formed, they are washed with naphtha V. In the next step, what we do is you do drying. So drying can be done, done by number of methods. Here I have given three steps. One, one the first step is you know you do infrared drying step, which removes near about sixty to seventy percent of water. After infrared drying step, you can do tumble drying. So this is the tumble drying where the capsules they come over here and they move move inside this tumble dryer. Okay, from here they move, go on moving, and from this side they are getting removed. Once the capsule pass through the tumble dryer, what you do is you pass them to the tray dryer. So tumble drying and tray drying is the step that is the drying step. That is the sixth step that is drying. So you have naphtha wash, you have preliminary drying, and then you have the final drying, which can be carried out in the tumble drying and tray drying. Okay, so these capsules are now dried. Then now further, what you do is you carry out the sizing of it, right? So this is the sizing machine. Okay, through this the sizing is been carried out. So the right size capsules are getting removed from here, right? What does this sizing consist of? It consists of the diameter sorter. So this is the diameter sorter. So right kind of capsules go into this sorter. There are there are other methods also which have been done whereby you know you have uh, uh, something like this. You can have okay, and it it moves in this way. So the bigger size capsule is is getting collected from here. If it is, if it is, uh, sorry, the opposite way. So it is in this. Way, sorry, something something like this. Okay. So if it is smaller size capsules, it gets uh it gets collected from here only. Okay. Then if it is a larger size capsule, it gets collected from here. It if it is still larger size capsule, it gets collected over here. And if it is still larger size capsule, it gets collected over here. So in this way, the sizing of capsule is being taking place. What what does this help us to do? This helps us to remove the overfill, and you have, it helps us to remove the underfill capsules. Okay. Also, there may be some foreign capsules may be, which may be entering. There may be an unfilled capsules also which may be entering. These also can be uh, discarded with the help of this sizing machine. Okay. This is the step number eight. In step number nine, what you do is you do the inspection. Uh, the inspection is done visually. Okay, manual inspection is being carried out, whereby the any malformed or damaged capsules they are being removed from it. Okay. Also, you see you check the color whether the proper color is been uh, obtained after filling or not. Now, in the next step, that is in the step number ten, what you do is you do the counting. Okay, electron co electronic counting takes place. Which near about counts eight thousand capsules per minute, and in the last step, step number eleven, you do the package. Okay, the packaging is usually done with the, in the container, or it is done with the help of strip packing. You can have blister packing, you can have strip packing. Okay, these types of packing can be used in order to uh, pack the capsules. Okay, so these these are the number of steps that that have been carried out. I'll just uh, revise it once for you. Okay, before we go on to the video. So what we have done is in the first step, we have prepared the gelatin solution. We have added all the ingredients, different, different ingredients. We have checked the color. In the next step, we have prepared the material that is to be filled inside the capsule shell. In the third step, what we have done is we have done the filling of this material inside the capsule shell by two processes. One process is known as the, the first process known as the plate process. There are, there are four processes actually. I am just taking two processes now. Two processes I will take uh, uh, after five to ten minutes. Okay, in the first process uh, that is after the video. In the first process we have done plate process, which is the batch process, whereby you have a plate which consists of number of dies, 
you apply the you prepare you keep the gelatin sheet onto this die you apply the vacuum pockets are getting formed onto into this pocket you you put your uh, you fill your uh, uh, material that is to be filled inside it then you place again place a gelatin sheet onto it you compress it you apply the pressure whereby this uh, and heat is already there because of the heat and because of the pressure the two sheets get joined to each other and the material is encapsulated inside it and then you separate these capsules from the gelatin sheet okay this is the plate process the next step was dye process in the dye process there were two tanks one tank is pouring the gelatin solution to the spreader box and from the spreader box to the cooling drum uh, the cooling drum rotates and it forms a ribbon and this ribbon is taken through this uh, oil uh, rolls which consists of mineral oil and then they are taken to the dye roller this dye roller at the dye roller the vacuum has been applied this vacuum uh, uh, because of the application of vacuum the dye cavity is getting formed the uh, uh, at the same time what you do is the from the production tank uh, through the production pump you pump the right kind of material inside the capsule uh, inside the cavity that is getting formed over there okay and then further uh, uh ceiling takes place with the help of the heat the ceiling takes place the two halves are joined to each other and the capsule is been formed which is getting separated from the base gelatin from the sheet okay and the sheet is again take for, taken for processing after this the after this third step of filling then these capsules that have been formed are are given naphthalene wash they are dried with the help of infrared drying step or tumble drying and spray drying step then they are further sized whereby the overfill underfill and the foreign capsules are getting discarded then you do the inspection okay whereby the malformed and damaged capsules are getting separated in the next step what you do is you do the electronic counting whereby 8000 capsules per minute in this machine near about 8000 capsules per minute can be uh, 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 what do you call the counted and in the next step you do the packaging after this uh, capsules have been formed and after sorry after this uh, should be the quality control okay you do the quality control and once the batch passes the quality control test then you go for packaging of this capsules okay so this is how the i'll just stop this video the left hand side right hand side video just take the left hand side video This is the conveyor from which the uh, formed capsules are getting removed. Okay. If you if you can see see over here, this is the sheet. Okay, this is the sheet which is coming down, which is containing the capsule as well as the gelatin. This is the gelatin sheet. From it, it is getting separated. This is the spreader box. Okay. And this is the gelatin sheet. These are the rollers okay oil rollers this this one is the gelatin sheet if you see over here this is the gelatin sheet which is going to the wedge see this is also the gelatin sheet can you see over here this is the gelatin sheet now you can see the see the gelatin sheet clearly over here see, this is the gelatin sheet that is getting formed and this is going to the wedge so these are the pumps which are pumping the material inside this capsule and these if you see over here can you see over here these are the die rollers right containing number of dies can you see over here these are the number of dies that are present onto it over over here you apply the vacuum see the die rollers now properly okay is the wedge system injection wedge system now these these can you see the sheet over here okay just see how the capsules are getting separated from the sheet and the, and the earlier one was the net like appearance that you could see once the capsules are formed, now they are going to be taken for naphtha wash and dry.
See from here, with the help of this pump, they are taken for drying. This is the tumble dry process. Okay, got it? There are many videos that are available uh, on YouTube. You can check check out number of videos. This is the process of actual filling. This is the fill material. This is just the animation to make you understand. This is injection based system. These are the two ribbons that I get coming over here of these die rolls. You have another process that can be used which is known as reciprocating dye process okay this was de developed by norton company okay in 1949 it is similar to rotary uh, rotary dye process okay the only difference over here is the the dye it reciprocates back and forth so it moves in this direction it moves in this direction at the one stroke and it again goes in this direction so the movement is in this fashion right so that is the movement of the reciprocating die, the die which was over here. So two die the here, right? So there were two dies over here, and on this the film was coming. So this movement of die in rotatory die process, these dies they rotate in this fashion continuously. They are rotating, right? In rotatory die process, whereas in case of reciprocating die process, they move front. And they again move back. They again move in the front, and they are again moving in the back. So this is the direction of flow. Uh, this is the direction of movement. That is the only difference between the reciprocating die and the rotating die. Okay, let us move further to echo gel capsule machine. Now, echo gel capsule machine is the machine is the only machine which has been used. I told you earlier also, if you remember, it is the only machine which has been used in order to fill the powders okay it was developed by lenderle laboratories it was also developed near about in 1949 only during that time only okay and the system that it is using is rotary dry, rotary dry but the difference over here is this is the only equipment that is used for filling of powders right dry solids whereas reciprocating dye method that rotary dry method sorry rotary and reciprocating both they used to fill the liquids, whereas echo gel capsule machine fills soft gel tin capsule with dry solids. Okay, this is the difference between the echo gel and the other. So these are the four machines. These are the four methods that are used for formation and filling of capsule. That is the plate process, then rotary dye process, reciprocating dye process, and echo gel capsule machine. Okay, these are the four machines that have been that have been used okay understood right uh the the further step they remain the same that is the nafta wash drying then uh, uh, what we said was uh, 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 sizing okay inspection etc packing etc all those steps remain the same only the filling can be done with different different machines